As a language-focused channel, we often speak about sound. Usually, this is the phonetic and phonological aspects of a language, the way we produce or interpret sound in order to convey information for a successful communicative event. But even if we expand into the realm of physics for a little bit, sound is always a fascinating thing. Thanks to the likes of space photography, we all know what planets look like. But do we know what planets sound like? Well, believe it or not, there are several audio recordings produced by NASA that show us exactly that, what planets sound like in space. If this statement sounds a little off, then I need to qualify it for a moment. Whenever we hear sound on Earth, what's happening is that this sound is being produced by the vibration of objects or even our vocal cords. This vibration creates pressure waves that then travel through a medium, air, water or solids. However, space is a vacuum. That is why whenever we discuss sound from space and specifically recordings, then these are not sounds in the traditional sense. There is no air vibration because there is no air. So what we're about to listen to on this video is the interpretations of electromagnetic waves generated by these planets that are detected by spacecraft instruments and then converted into sound that we can hear. And trust me, if you have never seen this, Let's go. Okay guys, so I'm gonna do a top five tier. Let's begin with the sun, so a star. What does the sun sound like? Oh, wow, I love it. Okay, this is one of my favorite. Uh, what I'm going to do is that I'm going to provide commentary after we listen to it. So I want you to be able to listen to these uninterrupted and then I provide commentary. The first question I'm going to ask is, does it sound the way you would expect it to? For me, it's a resounding yes. In fact, if anything, it emanates a certain level of power. And it sounds like a yeah, heat producing, I was going to say furnace, but no. Let me hear it again. It has a pulsating aspect to it, like a giant heat machine. Ooh. Well, you've seen nothing. Just listen to the Earth. What do we sound like from space? Yeah, I would say it's about what I was expecting. And let's move to Mercury. And I'm going progressively, by the way. You do not, if at any point you feel like, ah, I watched enough, I'll click away. No, you wait for Saturn. Then you click away. You wait for Saturn. Let's go for Mercury. How alien does it sound? Oh, wow, wow, that was great. I mean, up to this point, sun takes the cake. We'll do a little list, and then I'd like you to tell me your list from your favorite, in, in order of how impressed you were. When it comes to Mercury, do I get an alien feel to it? Yes, totally. It almost felt like it was bubbling. Let's go for Venus. Okay, Venus gives me more of an alien feel than Mercury, but this one sounds more like something that is nothing to do with what we, we're used to when it comes to the Earth. Yeah, this one gave me the chills. Mars, ooh, I'm so looking forward to Mars. Let's see if Mars sounds like Mars. Venus did give me the feel like, yeah, that's a Venus. What about Mars? Ah, 
I mean, the first thing I would say, desolate. Once again, Mars sound exactly like I would have expected, like the little wind and the idea of rocky red sand. The end, though, it sounded like there were some metal thuds. Maybe that's an alien. Jupiter. Goodness gracious. Oh, this one really surprised me. This is the first one and I'm, it completely caught me off guard. It's the least natural one at all, like completely, completely, really off-putting. Like, what am I listening to? I mean, check this out. Oh gosh, yeah, this is text the cake when it comes to the most alien sounding as far as I'm concerned. Now, guys, it's, it's Saturn and it's the most replayed and you'll see why. Are you ready? This is gonna... I'm gonna use the F word. This is gonna fuck with your mind. Guys, this is Saturn. This is number one, guys. It's unbeatable. Unbeatable. It sounds like billions of screaming souls from hell. I don't know what it is. It sounds like a vortex of souls of the damned. Holy moly, if you had given this recording to Dante Alighieri, he would have produced who knows what. So maybe it's the maybe it, it must be because of the rings. They're probably interacting with the way these waves are twisted. But my gosh. I'm mesmerized. I am mesmerized. Let's go for Uranus. So once again, a, a sense of desolation, very different though. It had a constance to it, and differently from Mars. This one was more alien than Mars. Actually impressive as well. It really gave me idea on an idea of something outworldly, as it is. Let's go for Neptune. Wow, this was impressive too. Man, there isn't one that I don't like. These are, they, apart from the fact that they really let, make, make your mind go wild into the imagination, because these are sound produced by celestial bodies that are outside our planet. This is real alien sound. I know it's been interpreted so that we could hear it, but it still just fits it. It just fits it. Let's go for Pluto and then we update the list.
Oh, you're gonna be joking. Oh, come on. Come on. Why is this video private? Did the aliens take it down? This is the most alien one. This sounded like an alien space station at this point. Something that they... Wow. All right, so let's do that list. I'm gonna put the Earth on D because, I mean, it's the Earth. We're from here. Let's do something alien. Um, when it comes to C tier, Mars really did feel... I liked it more than the Earth because it gave me a feeling of, oh my gosh, we're on another planet. But, you know, it's, uh, it's nice, but there is some proper players in here. Saturn, I told you, it goes on S. Saturn, it absolutely goes on S tier. I don't think there is anything that can beat that. It was an incredible experience. However, I will put Jupiter on A tier because it really gave me the creeps. And I'm putting the sun, I know it's a star, I'm putting the sun on A tier too because that was like impressive. When it comes to um, Neptune, I mean, it looks nice and it sounded cool. I'm going to put it, I don't know if I'm going to put it together. Yeah, I'm putting it in C with Mars. Instead, Uranus is going up here and Venus is going on A. All right, but this is my tier list. I hope that you enjoyed it and that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please remember thumbs up and let me know what you think. What is your tier list? Which of these planets is the one that impressed you the most? And which one was the scariest? Thank you very much for watching and for joining Metatron's Academy.